Would you believe that it takes more effort to blow up this balloon than what it does to play a brass instrument? Most people wouldn't believe me. Hang around for these next three videos and I'm going to explain exactly why playing a brass instrument is way easier than blowing up a balloon. Now people seem to think that playing brass instruments is just hard work and I'm here to tell you that it's not. My name's Greg Spence, I'm the founder of Mystery to Mastery and the creator of the Windworks course and thanks to my great friends at Fine Music in Melbourne, I've got three short, really simple videos that will help you play a lot more easily on your instrument. Now this first video is about breathing and we're going to call it setting up the breath. But would you believe I actually don't use the term breathing anymore. I use the term energizing the lungs. Why is that? Sound is energy. And when we take a breath that's bigger than what we need to stay alive, we've created extra excess energy in the body and we want to convert that into sound. But what most people do is actually engage muscles that are too strong and are not required. One of my mantras in playing is we want to eliminate any unnecessary or involuntary muscular activation. We don't want the body to do anything that it doesn't need to. Now, I think we can all agree that I don't have to squeeze this balloon for the air to come out. All I need to do is release the air. When we energize the lungs, the body expands, and all we need to do is release the air by relaxing the body. This is the greatest way to start learning and improving your instrument playing. There are two ways to energize the lungs, through the nose or through the mouth. And some people might say, never breathe through the nose. Many great players do breathe through the nose. It's just slower. If we wanted to energize the lungs, by breathing in through the nose. I think we can all agree that if the lungs are like a balloon, you don't have to squeeze the balloon for the air to come out. It just wants to come out on its own. That's what we're going to do. So we're gonna take a little breath and go. Now we wanna make sure that the body's really relaxed when we're doing this. Now I don't want you to fall over of course, but we breathe in through the nose, then let everything drop. Everyone can do this, and it's a really easy way to energize the lungs. Now we're going to take a deeper breath. There's more energy here because I've taken a bigger breath through the nose. Let the body relax. We stretch the body and it reduces in size. Now we can take a really deep, slow breath through the nose. So I would encourage teachers to get their students to sit there and breathe in until they can through their nose. But make sure none of this happens. Just notice that they can expand. Then when they relax, the body wants to retract, let the air move outwards. This is the energy that we're going to use to create sound on the instrument. Now you might be sitting there thinking to yourself, you shouldn't be teaching people to breathe through the nose. Well, a lot of great players actually occasionally breathe through their nose. Remember, it doesn't matter how we energize the lungs, we just need to get air in there and expand the body. Of course, the quickest way to do it, which is the way I do it for most of the time when I play, is to breathe in through the mouth. And the very first thing that I want to do is show you the backswing. Now the backswing, like in golf or tennis, you take a backswing and you hit through. Here, we wanna make sure by using our hand, we suck air past the hand. We get expansion in the body. It's a very quick way of energizing the lungs. The second method that I use is by bending the finger. With my younger students, I say, what's the first thing we do in the day? We get them to bend their finger around, put it between the teeth. Now make sure when you're getting your students to do this, that you're not stretching 
lifting up and engaging in voluntary or unnecessary musculature. Now, all of these breathing methods are about energizing the lungs and allowing the body to expand and reduce, just like when we blow up a balloon and simply let the air out. Now, some of you might be asking, yes, Greg, but we need to use the body sometimes to play. Of course we do, but generally we use the body too much. We create too much tension in the system and playing becomes difficult. Brass playing is no harder than talking, humming, or singing. I'll explain that in the next couple of videos.